Clouds can be all types of shapes and sizes up in the sky, but their journey up there begins down here on the ground with us. Today we're talking about cloud formation on Weather 101. Hi there, Aaron here, your friendly neighborhood meteorologist, and I'm back today to answer your questions about the weather. We've all done it. You're sitting outside on a nice summer day and you look up in the sky and you see a rabbit or a dinosaur or a hand or something like that up in the clouds. But did you know that all of those clouds that you see up in the sky had their start down here on the ground with us? Today, we're talking about how clouds form. To form the most basic clouds, there's three things that you need evaporation, convection, and condensation. First, evaporation. This is when water changes from its liquid form into an invisible gas called water vapor. This happens when the sun heats the water in the ocean, lakes, rivers, and even the ground. Just like when boiling water turns to steam, the water that's heated by the sun turns into an invisible vapor. The vapor then rises from the surface and into the atmosphere, just like steam rising from a boiling pot of water. This is called convection. The vapor continues rising higher and higher into the atmosphere, all the while getting colder and colder. Eventually, the gas becomes cold enough that it turns back into a liquid. As it does that, the water grabs onto tiny particles of dust that are floating around in the air and creates tiny drops of water. This is called condensation. Because water molecules really like to stick together, these drops start to latch on to each other. Eventually, enough of these drops get together and form those puffy white clouds that you and I see. It's worth noting that the clouds we're talking about in this video are those nice, fair-weather cotton ball clouds that you see on nice days. On stormy days, those clouds are formed by a different process. They form when air is forced to rise by a cold or warm front moving through the area. But that's a topic for another video. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you have a weather related question, just drop them in the comment section down below and I'll try to answer them on another edition of Weather 101. If you like this video, just give it a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to rate it, share it, and even subscribe to the channel. I post a new video every Wednesday. And you can keep the learning going on Facebook and Twitter at Weather101Net. That's where I post a new weather word of the week every Monday and a new weather fact every Friday. And that'll do it for this edition of Weather 101. Until next time, see ya.